took a goal deep in the forests of West Africa. There lived a skilled hunter named Kofi, known for his strength and bravery. Kofi could track any animal, no matter how elusive. But one day, as he journeyed further into the forest than ever before, Kofi stumbled upon something strange, a drum beautifully carved and decorated with the symbols of his ancestors. It sat alone under a massive tree, seemingly waiting for him. Kofi knelt down, inspecting the drum closely. It was adorned with intricate patterns, geometric designs and animals that seemed to come alive under the dappled sunlight. He reached out to play it, but before his fingers touched the surface, the drum spoke. I am not an ordinary drum, it said. Kofi jumped back in shock, his heart racing. The drum continued, I have been left here by the spirits. Play me and I will show you the secrets of the forest. Kofi's curiosity was piqued, but he was wary of the forest's magic. His ancestors had warned him about mysterious powers that dwelled within these woods. He thought to himself, should I trust this talking drum? What if it is a trick? of the spirits, but the allure of hidden knowledge was too strong. Kofi with steady hands began to beat the drum. As Kofi played, the forests around him transformed. Trees swayed to the rhythm. Animals appeared from the shadows and the air filled with an ancient song. Look closely, the drum said, for the animals know more than you think. Kofi watched in amazement as a line of gazelles walked by, their footsteps creating a pattern on the ground, a path he had never noticed before. Bed circled overhead, guiding him deeper into the heart of the forest. Suddenly, the forest grew still. Kofi found himself facing a large majestic leopard, its golden eyes glowing with an ancient wisdom. The drum whispered, this is your final test. To gain true knowledge, you must face the spirit of the forest. Kofi bowed respectfully to the leopard, understanding that this was no ordinary encounter. The leopard roared, but instead of attacking, it spoke. Only those who respect the balance of nature are worthy to be called true hunters. Kofi, humbled by the encounter, realized that his strength and skill were nothing without wisdom and respect for the forest. As he returned to his village, the talking drum's voice echoed in his ears, reminding him of the lessons learned. From that day on, Kofi became not only a hunter, but a guardian of the forest secrets, always mindful of the balance between man and nature.